the very beginning, it's a callback to Guardian of the Former Seas. I'm sensing a pattern here. The Terraria Calamity soundtrack is the gift that keeps on giving. And the moment I found out how passionate the community behind it is, I just had to do more of these reaction videos. Thanks to you. Let's go. This is the song called Antarctic Reinforcement, aka Theme of Cryogen. I have a feeling this is gonna be very icy. <laughs> Yes, immediately starting with very crystalline sounding synthesizers. A very common trope nowadays used in video game music or soundtrack music to convey icy sounding atmospheres, glass crystals, maybe glockenspiels, any tinny sounding instruments. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. If you remove those jungle electronic drums, the harmony is like long tones with tiny moving elements in the background. Can stand alone as just peaceful ambient music and not moving so much. But because he added those frenetic drums, it makes it a little bit more exciting and fast moving. Now we're talking. Yeah, one of my favorite things about soundtracks that we listen from Terraria Calamity so far, I love the use of chaotic but ordered drums. You know, there's a certain chaos to it, but it's still in a very ordered manner, very organized chaos. Yeah, those arpeggios of those crystalline sounding synths, they add so much atmosphere and yet they still convey that icy feeling. Yeah, that sudden, seemingly random key change, descending key change, oh my god, it almost catches you 
off guard. You're vibing a certain way and then, oops, we're bringing it down a peg. And yeah, I love that. My general impression of this piece is it really gives me the feeling of you're in a winter wonderland with icy castles, ice statues everywhere, but there's a blizzard surrounding the castles, surrounding the environment, and everything is in a winter flurry. So everything is uh, intensified in a way, something like that. This is called Left Alone, theme of Brimstone Elemental. definitely evokes the harmonic styles of Nobuo Oematsu, especially in old school Final Fantasy. A little bit of Yasunori Mitsuda, but yes, this is packaged in a very, in a modern heavy metal skin. Yeah, even that flute sounding synth melody, <laughs> it's one of the commonly used melodic instruments in those old school JRPGs, like I mentioned. This is very much a lyrical sounding melody with a chord progression that matches it, especially those ascending chord progressions leading to the chorus. It evokes something magical, like if you change the instruments to something like celeste or xylophone and piano, it would sound very magical like it belongs in a Disney-esque fantasy animated film or something like that, something magical. They changed the aesthetic to something more synth heavy metal and I love it. That's a term I was looking for. There's a certain sound of innocence with this melody and harmony combination. There is really something innocent sounding, very sweet, definitely tugging my heartstrings right now. It's the type of melody and harmony combination that's meant to make you cry, but in a heavy metal style.
definitely evokes some stylings of Chrono Trigger, especially the slower songs, Secret of the Forest, maybe something like that. It would definitely fit one of the more sad, dramatic cutscenes in old school JRPGs where like two of the main pixelated characters are like reminiscing about something in their past or something sad that happened in the story, something like that. This is a very lush sounding, soaring harmony. Oh my god, I could imagine this being performed on stage. Full orchestra with a metal band and then a flute soloist at the very center. A flute symphonic metal concerto. Final thoughts. Don't autoplay it. Don't autoplay. Definitely love the contrasting combination, the duality of the hard sound and the soft sound. There's something sweet and then there's something brutal, but then they meet in the middle and create this beautiful mix. I'm always on the lookout for cool video game music to listen to. Suggest some in the comments. Outcast of the Sulfurous Seas. Sounds interesting. Let's take a listen. Yo! The very beginning! It's a callback. The intro, melody, harmony. It's a callback to Guardian of the Former Seas. I'm sensing a pattern here. Yeah, it's pitched higher, but it's, oh my God, it's the same. New drum patterns, I like it. Now that's a remix. Wow. 
wow, he really is stretching this intro part. And now he changed it. This is a beautiful, almost heartbreaking melody. Oh my God. He really loves that combination, almost like a synth Eurobeat style with the piano single lines. Oh my God. He be shredding that piano. Okay, I just kind of realized something right now. The use of the piano in using single lines. I always found it sounds so sad and lonely because the piano, one of the most common instruments associated with playing with two hands, 10 fingers. But whenever I hear a piece using the piano with only single lines, I believe the reason why it makes me feel so sad is because when you picture someone playing the piano alone and they're only playing the piano with one hand, two fingers, you can see somebody sitting alone in a piano in a darkly lit room trying to play a piece, but they only can play one note at a time because they're not a good pianist. They cannot play piano fully alone. That imagery is very sad, very cinematically sad and melancholic. Now we have a callback leitmotif to Garden of the Former Seas. I'm hearing it now. Wow. I totally adore when he removed the kick drums, but only let the treble sounding drums and the slow sounding notes play in the music. While the kick drums were playing, the music felt grounded. It had like a structure. You remove the kick drum and suddenly it feels floating. It has been unleashed into the sky and sounded more dreamy for a little bit. What I love so far about the music from Terraria Calamity that I've heard, the melodies are actually super simple and I mean it in a good way. Simple enough to be singable and memorable. So he really goes hard on the other aspects like the textures, the rhythm. Even the harmonies are like long notes, long tones, long chords to support the melody. So he goes all out on other aspects of uh, the music, like the rhythmic texture, the harmonic texture with all those arpeggios. And you know, arpeggios are pretty much a staple in electronic music. They even have an old type of synthesizer called an arpeggiator, simply because of how common it is and how such a common trope it is in electronic music, even from back then. I did enjoy how closely related it is musically to the song Guardian of the Former Seas, basing on this thumbnail. I can see why, because it is definitely the similar type of boss a serpent slash dragon looking boss. So uh, it would really make sense that they have similar sounding songs with a different approach.
and for more of my content, click here.